Okay, class, welcome to lecture one for MEC 460 Fluid 1. And in this video, we'll scientifically define fluid and we'll establish a model to describe the definition of fluid. And in this process, viscosity, very important fluid property, will be introduced to quantify the model. To make definition, we will apply external stimulus, in this case is a shear force to a material, and then we will observe its response. If the material deforms and then stops, it is defined as solid material. The deformation generates a resistive force counteracting external force, reaching force balance. However, if the material deforms and deforms continuously, it is then defined as a fluid. The continuous deformation generates a resistive force, counting act, act on the force, reaching force balance. Now we can call the definition of fluid. Fluid is a material that cannot resist any shearing. With stimulus shearing, fluid will have respond, re respond by continuous deformation. And then based on this deformation, the next step will establish a model to describe the stimulus response relationship. Here, we will mathematically describe stim stimulus, in this case, it's force, and it's a response of a material, which is continuous deformation. One thing must be ensured that the mass description should be able to generalize to all fluid, regardless of its size. So for stimulus, we will introduce shear stress, tau, equals F, the force divided by acting area, A, in this way, we can eliminate the size effect, in this case, the area. And for response, we'll introduce strain rate, which is a rate change of deformation over time. In order to establish the math description for strain rate, we set up a coordinate to it. Here is y to represent this coordinate and the location y1 fluid moves at speed u1 and the location y2 fluid moves at speed u2. The velocity difference will cause the continuous deformation. So you can imagine if the velocity same at 1 to 2, there's no velocity difference. Material translate at same speed, there's no deformation. Again, to eliminate the size effect, we use uh, velocity difference divided by the location difference y1 minus y2 and to make it more mathematically strict and we assume that y1 is very close to y2 which lead to du over dy that's the string rate and now we have the mathematical decreation of shear stress and also its response to rate. And then experimentally, it is discovered that there's a linear relationship between shear stress and strain rate. Actually, to be more general, the linear relationship between stimulus and the response is generally valid for many physical phenomena especially when stimulus is very small. Okay, by experiment, it is learned that there is a linear relation between shear stress and strain. Now we can define viscosity, which is the coefficient of the linear relation. Or physically speaking, viscosity actually is a measure of internal friction also called viscous force. 
when there's a continuous deformation, or in other words, there's a relative motion, fluid will generate friction to counteract external force applied. Now, in this slide, we'll wrap up the short video with some very useful facts about viscosity. First, viscosity varies with temperature but there are opposite chains for gas and liquid. Viscosity increases with temperature for gas. However, viscosity will decrease with temperature for liquid. Second, viscosity doesn't change with pressure at low pressure region, for example, at level atmospheric pressure. So it is safe in most, in most cases to treat viscosity doesn't change with pressure. However, in extreme situations, especially when pressure is extremely high, for example, on the order of a gigapascal, and then viscosity will change with pressure. And the applications include bearing the gears, and then you need to treat viscosity as uh, change with pressure. Third, most fluid follows the linear relation. It's called Newtonian fluid. So it's named after Isaac Newton, who first used differentiation to formulate the linear relation. If not, and then the material is called non-Newtonian fluid.